There are storms of unemployment. There are storms of sin. There are storms of death. And there are many, many more storms. But the wise builder faces the storm. And the wise builder and the foolish builder, both, uh, they both face the storm. They're not exempt. They're not exempt. The wise builder is not exempt from a storm. Because the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 45, that it rains on the just and the unjust. However, the wise builder faces the storm, and when the rain comes, the way the rain and the wind blows against the house, it beats upon the house, but guess what? The house stands. That's right. The floods come, but the house remains. The wise builder builds because his life on the word of God, and therefore his or her life is solid. Unfortunately, on the other hand, the foolish builder foolishly hears the word of God and deliberately ignores the word of God and ends up with a house or a life that has collapsed and can condemn yes. to destruction. Yes, that's yes. right. We all have storms. That's we right. all have trials. Right. We all have tribulations. We all have issues. We all have problems. We all have dilemmas. We all have scenarios, but it's not the storms that you and I should focus on. It's our foundation that we should be looking at. Amen. Because when the storms come, people, most of many Christians look at the storm. I tell you, brothers and sisters, don't look at the That's storm right. because the storm just has a, just like a rainstorm comes today yeah. and sunny the next day. What I say is you focus on your foundation. Come on now. Never look at your storm. Look at your foundation. If your foundation is strong, you will never sink. You will never be submerged in the pit of hopelessness. You will never go down before your enemies. You will never be capsized by life circumstances. You will never devolve to the level of this culture and this, that, and that this nation have deteriorated to. You will come up among the clamor. You will rise up from the ruckus. You will burst through the barrage. You will have the sweet smell of victory upon you at the end of the storm. Why? Because you will be unsinkable in the storm. Amen. Yes, amen. You will be unsinkable in the storm because your foundation is strong. Your foundation is built upon the word of God. And in the light of your, the word that you receive, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 105, that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. And if you read further all the way down to verse 130 of Psalm 119, the word says, the entrance of thy word giveth light. Amen. The entrance of thy word giveth light. So when storms come, as the entrance of the word, as you receive the word of God, as you meditate on the word of God, as you study the word of God, and as we, you and I, practice the word of God. Amen? Guess what? Those gloomy days will start going away. Why? Because light is coming in you. And where there is light, there no darkness can live. Amen? Right, where right. there is light, darkness has to run. Amen? Yes. Where there is faith, fear must leave. Amen? Where there is righteousness, sin consciousness must exit. Hallelujah. So therefore, when storms come, the light that is in you comes out. And guess what? Storms eventually have to go. And when they go, you stand on the other side with the fragrance of victory. Praise God. With the testimony. Amen. Saying, I stood. I conquered. And I won in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so that's why you can be unsinkable in the storm, but it takes practicing this word of God. Yes. It takes building a firm foundation and living on that foundation. How do we see people that are able to do things with a little because they live on a firm foundation? Mm. How do we see people? Why do we see people? They rise up and then they fall because of character issues because they didn't build on a firm foundation. Talent won't get it. Education won't get it. Come on. Money won't get it. Skill it. won't get it. Titles won't get it. But it's your firm foundation is based on the word of God, you can lose all of that and you'll still be on top. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. In the storm. Amen. Amen. Unseen because some of us, and I just want to give you this word of encouragement because this message of encouragement because we go through storms. And some of the storms that we go through many times are not our fault. It's based on the decisions of ungodly people. It's based on the decisions 
of a person's vision that's not right. Amen. It's based on decisions. It's based on a world system that is devolving, that is going down. But guess what? It doesn't matter how high gas gets. It doesn't matter what costs rise to. If you live for God and you build your house on a firm foundation, right. Right. gas can be $30 a, a gallon. You will still have more than enough. 